Imagine a structure so vast, its spinning blades could stretch across two football fields. Picture a single underwater foundation heavier than two fully loaded jumbo jets. These are not concepts from a science fiction movie, they are the very real components of the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project, a monumental engineering feat taking shape off the coast of Virginia. This colossal undertaking aims to generate enough clean electricity to power 660,000 homes. But how does humanity build such giants in the unpredictable ocean? And what incredible challenges must engineers overcome to harness the power of the wind at this unprecedented scale? The story of Virginia's ambitious leap into offshore wind energy began not with a giant commercial farm, but with a smaller, crucial first step. In 2020, a pilot project was completed, featuring two 6-megawatt wind turbines located about 43 kilometers off the Virginia Beach coast. This was a historic moment, as it marked the very first offshore wind farm ever built in U.S. federal waters. This successful demonstration paved the way for the massive commercial project we see under construction today, which officially began in November 2023. But the true challenge, the real leap into the future, was yet to begin. To understand how this colossal project is taking shape, we must delve into the incredible engineering that makes it possible, starting with its very foundation. Beneath the churning waves, the true anchors of this wind farm are the monopiles, giant steel tubes driven deep into the seabed. Each monopile can be up to 83 meters long and measures a staggering 10 meters in diameter. To help you picture that, a 10 meter width is comparable to a small Ferris wheel. Each of these colossal steel cylinders weighs an astonishing 1,500 tons. To put that in perspective, a single monopile is heavier than two fully loaded jumbo jets like the Airbus A380 combined. Installing these behemoths requires a specialized approach. They are first vibrated into the sandy seafloor, then a giant hammer drives them an additional 27 to 30 meters deeper, anchoring them firmly into a thick layer of clay. This massive weight means that the ships and cranes needed to move and install these foundations must be incredibly powerful, pushing the limits of what modern engineering can achieve at sea. The project relies on a massive ship called the Orion, which is 213 meters long and can transport up to six monopiles at a time, using one of the world's largest cranes to lift them into position. As of October 2024, 78 monopiles had already been installed. Once these mighty foundations are securely in place, the true giants of the ocean begin to rise. The colossal Virginia Offshore Wind Project will feature 176 Siemens Gamesa SG14222 DD fixed bottom wind turbines. Each of these towering structures is a marvel of modern engineering boasting a powerful 14.6 megawatt capacity. The sheer scale of these turbines is breathtaking. Their rotor diameter, the circle swept by the blades, measures an incredible 222 meters. To visualize this, that is the same width as two football fields laid end to end. Each of the three blades alone is 108 meters long. When fully assembled, these commercial turbines will stand about 244 meters tall. To put that height into perspective, the Washington Monument is approximately 169 meters tall, meaning these turbines are significantly taller. They are even almost as tall as the iconic Eiffel Tower, which stands at 330 meters. These impressive turbines are designed to produce clean energy for about 30 years, showcasing a long-term commitment to renewable power. But these towering turbines are just one part of a vast, interconnected system. Their power must be collected and sent ashore through an intricate underwater network. While the towering turbines capture our attention, a complex, hidden network beneath the waves is equally vital to the project's success. 
This is the underwater grit designed to efficiently collect and transmit the immense power generated offshore. Electricity from each turbine travels through 66 kilovolt interarray cables. These cables are not simply laid on the sea floor, they are buried between 1 and 5 meters deep. This burial is a critical engineering decision, protecting them from marine activity like fishing and shipping, and also helping to reduce electromagnetic fields in the surrounding marine environment. The sheer scale of this underwater network is impressive. A total of 480 kilometers of interarray cables are being installed. To help you visualize this length, it is roughly equivalent to the driving distance from Washington, D.C. to New York City. These cables converge at three massive offshore substations. These substations act as central hubs, collecting and bundling the electricity from multiple turbines before sending it towards land. Each substation rests on robust pile jacket foundations designed to withstand the harsh ocean environment. From these offshore hubs, the bundled energy begins its journey to land, a lifeline connecting the ocean's power to our homes. The journey of electricity from the offshore wind farm to the onshore grid is a meticulously planned and executed operation. From the three offshore substations, power travels to land via nine 230 kilovolt buried offshore export cables. These cables have a combined length of 587 kilometers, which is more than the distance from Paris to Amsterdam. These vital lifelines make their way ashore at a dedicated landing station located at the State Military Reservation in Virginia Beach. Once on land, the cables continue their journey underground for about 8 kilometers, leading to a new switching station currently under construction at Naval Air Station Oceana. This underground routing through sensitive areas minimizes surface disruption. From this switching station, the power transitions to overhead lines that stretch 22 kilometers further, connecting to Dominion's existing Fentress substation in Chesapeake. It is at this substation that the clean electricity generated by the wind farm finally connects to the main electrical grid, ready to power homes and businesses. Before laying these crucial cables, a significant logistical challenge involved clearing debris from the ocean floor, including unexploded military ordnance that had been present for decades. This meticulous preparation ensures the safety and integrity of the underwater infrastructure. Building a massive wind farm in the ocean is not without its complexities, and the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project has faced its share of engineering and environmental challenges. A major concern involves the potential impact on marine mammals, particularly the critically endangered North Atlantic right whale. Underwater construction noise, especially from pile driving and increased vessel traffic, pose a moderate to major risk to these sensitive creatures. To address these concerns, strict and innovative mitigation measures have been put in place. Construction is halted between November and May, a crucial period when North Atlantic right whales migrate through the project area. During pile driving, double bubble curtains are deployed underwater around the installation sites to significantly reduce the noise that travels through the water. All project vessels are mandated to travel at a maximum speed of 10 knots, which is about 18.5 kilometers per hour, and must maintain a 100 meter distance from other vessels. Trained observers are always on board these vessels, diligently looking for marine mammals, and they have the authority to pause construction if animals are spotted in the vicinity. Beyond the technical and environmental hurdles, the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project also navigates a complex financial and political landscape, shaping its path to completion. The Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project represents a significant financial undertaking with an estimated total cost of 10.7 billion euros. This figure reflects an increase from the initial 9.8 billion euro projection partly due to higher costs for onshore electrical connections and necessary network upgrades. Furthermore, new tariffs could add up to 500 million euros to the final cost if they remain in place through late 2026. 
Dominion Energy, as a state public utility, operates with a unique financing model that allows it to adjust costs for ratepayers, unlike private developers who often have fixed price agreements. This means that average monthly electricity bills in Virginia could see a small increase, currently estimated at 43 cents, with an additional 4 cents attributed to the tariffs. To help manage these substantial financial risks and protect against unforeseen cost increases, Dominion strategically sold a 50% non-controlling interest in the project to the investment firm Stone Peak in October 2024. Despite some political headwinds from the Trump administration, which has expressed skepticism towards offshore wind, the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project is fully permitted and has made significant progress. As of May 2025, the project is 55% complete, with 78 foundations installed and the first offshore substation in place. It remains firmly on track for completion by late 2026, with electricity delivery expected to begin in early 2026. Crucially, the project benefits from strong bipartisan support within Virginia, providing a stable foundation for its continued development. Once fully operational, this engineering marvel will generate a massive 2.6 gigawatts of clean electricity, enough to power 660,000 homes across Virginia. This monumental effort will also prevent approximately 2.2 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually, making a significant contribution to climate goals. It is a core part of Virginia's ambitious target for 100% clean energy by 2050, showing that large-scale renewable energy is not just a concept, but a rapidly unfolding reality. If you found this journey into the engineering marvels of offshore wind fascinating, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into groundbreaking projects, leave a comment with your thoughts, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.